the sinister ship of Black Bilge the Pirate. At the close of our last episode, Black Bilge had just proclaimed that anyone strong enough to lift his vessel's mainmast could rule the ship. Of course, he was quite unaware that several decks below, Rags the powerful tiger had overheard his offer. And thus, when tiny crusader Rabbit stepped up and appeared to accomplish the impossible, the startled pirates had no way of knowing that Rags was really at the bottom of it all. The deflated buccaneer had no choice but to offer Crusader his giant cutlass in token of surrender. Alas, poor Crusader couldn't even budge the heavy sword. Naturally, this tipped off the hoax. Well, in Bilge's book, there could be but one punishment for such audacity. Walking the plank. The usual reception committee was ready and waiting. And then... saved in the nick of time. Nevertheless, it seemed Crusader had merely hopped from the frying pan into the fire, or vice versa. Hey, what's the big idea? Yes, indeed. Rabbit roast would make a nice change for the pirate's Sunday dinner. Wait, perhaps all was not lost. For in the meantime, Black Bilge, ever on the lookout for a likely victim, had spotted a luscious luxury liner on the horizon, and so just before the cook could start his rabbit roast to roasting, the cry, Ship ahoy! All hands on deck! sent him scurrying to his battle station. When at last the crew was ready and the giant ship was well in range, Bilge barked his orders. Ready! Aim! Fire! However, the pirate's heaviest cannon failed to dent the giant liner. There was only one thing left to do, ram her. Charge! Even that didn't seem to work out very well. But while the liner and her passengers continued on their way, quite unaware of the terrible threat, the encounter left a deep impression on the pirate vessel and her crew. Poor old Bilge was inconsolable. After all, who ever heard of a pirate with treasure chest chock full of nothing? That is, nothing but water and a couple of goldfish, a result of their dunking. It was somewhere along about then that Garlic got an inspiration. Hey, boss, have I got an idea? No, uh, what is it? It ain't safe to spill it here. A brainstorm like this calls for privacy. And so it was that the two plotters headed for Bilge's cabin. But hold on, what's this? It just so happens that that's where our friend Crusader is hiding. What is Garlic's evil plan? And what in the world can we, Crusader, do? Don't miss episode 12.